Be sure to protect your privacy and grab one of the VPNs listed below. What's going on you guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how you can fix this essential graphics problem within the newer versions of Adobe Premiere. Basically what is happening is uh, when I click one of these, this window will close. Uh, the problem is, is I, as you can see, they do load up. But I have this issue sometimes where if Adobe Premiere is opened up for a bit, you know, I, I'm editing and I go make something neat and come back. These stop loading. As you can see, they are all loading now. It takes some time. And as you can see, I went through scroll and this minimized. It's kind of annoying to have to deal with this issue. There's also the other issue that is when you drop some of these in here, okay, you drop them on your timeline. And you go to click these to actually edit them as you can see there's no text but there actually is text on this you have to click browse and edit in order to get that text to pop up it is super super annoying to have to actually deal with this and then when you delete it it messes up and it shrinks this window again it's just a pain in the ass and a lot of people actually have customized folders well guess what you can't view your customized folders and then you deal with that window shrinking again this is a major major issue and it's annoying because people who have mogarts or have a f you know 15 or 20 different folders of mogarts they can't organize them by folder or view them by folder this is a problem that is occurring in adobe premiere i don't know on the version that this started on but a lot of people are having this issue and there's one way to combat this and actually get something that works a lot better and will work in your actual favor. What you're gonna do is you're gonna head to the link below, you're gonna sign into your Adobe account, you're gonna hit free, and basically you should add it to your Creative Cloud, make sure you have Adobe Premiere closed, and what you're gonna do is after it says that it's been acquired, you should be able to view my exchange and that it's been acquired, you're gonna open up Premiere, you're gonna go to Window, you're gonna go to Extensions, and you're gonna see it here. If you do not see it there, then you're gonna need to click Download and Install another way, okay? It's gonna take you to this window here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna download this, and you're gonna download this tool here, or again, I will leave this link or this link. Any one of these will do, okay? This uh, AE Scripts or AE Plugins, or this this program here okay so you're going to download this program i'm using this one just for the sake of the video you're going to open up this you're going to have to have win wire win zip or something to open up the archive once you've got this open you're going to click on adobe premiere and again you're going to want to make sure that you close adobe premiere okay you do not want to have it open because it may not show until you actually close it and open it as you can see here, it says I have 302. The version I actually have, I believe, is 303. So for the sake of the video, I'm just going to reinstall the uh, 302. So what you're going to do is you're going to head to your download folder. I obviously have uh, mine set for a different location. You're going to go to where you have your download set. And as you can see, you have that Motion Factory uh, Video File Manager Mogart Reader. You're going to hit open. You're going to give it a minute. Again, you're gonna wanna make sure Adobe Premiere is closed when you do this, okay? And as you can see, it told me to restart, so you can close this, you open up Adobe Premiere. It will take my Adobe Premiere a bit to open up and to scan the files, because I have a pretty big uh, template that I use for my videos, okay? So with this program, uh, because I, I don't know if it's going to push me to the 303, I believe, uh, is the version that it kept pushing me to. I'll have to see when I open up it if it's on 302 or 303. Okay. But uh, you, you get a live preview if, it, if it's working. I know they are updating it and having issues with the live preview not showing. That also could be due to the version of the Adobe Premiere that you have. It has a built-in editor. Uh, depending on the mogart i believe uh, it works as a file manager there's plenty of other options for this plugin and what it does which is really really nice because again dealing with that essential graphics window can be a pain i know there's an error there that comes up sorry about that you guys okay so i do got to give it one more second for this text window to 
actually pop up. Let me close this. But as you can see, you again would need to go to Windows extensions. You can uncheck it. Or you would have to actually close it out of here, I believe, to get rid of it. Okay? But you're going to click on default files. And basically, because I'm still loading in this template stuff here, uh, that's why it looked like that. But as you can see, they all loaded. Okay? It's pretty nice. You do have the option to, to view a preview. And yeah, my version is 303 beta, which is why it may not be showing... The preview, you should be able to scrub this and have it show, like, depending on the version you're on. Okay, if it won't, then it won't. But you do have your categories. You can also make folders. So you can make a folder here. You can right click one of these templates and go to move. Click on move and you can pick the folder that you want to move it to, which is really nice. And again, you can scroll all these and it will not kick you up to the top, which is nice. And again, as you can see here, you got quite a bit of stuff that you can add uh, because I have a lot of Mograts installed. So there's no like double clicking these or anything like that. You can view information if you click the side. It will tell you fonts that are missing, so on and so forth. It tells you how long, obviously. You could drop it here. Give it a minute to load up. And as you can see, it has a built-in editor, which again, you can use this one. Or you can use this. As you can see, the text still didn't load here, and it gives you the exact same options. However, this one is a lot nicer. Um, I find this one a lot nicer. So you can minimize it. Color one, you know, you could change to red. You could do the top text to, you know, blue. Oh, sorry, it does the whole text. What is this? This could be, yeah, the background. Okay, you have the option to untick the background. So, you, you got some stuff here. It's really nice, the inline editor. I'm not going to lie. Uh, some of these, I think, do show, like, background on that. But this one, unfortunately, didn't. You can obviously position it, too. Okay. So, you move it up and down. You know, left and right. Okay. You can scale it. Make it even smaller. Again, you can scrub through, see the animation for it. Okay. So, it is pretty cool the you know the stuff that you get within this and when you hit delete it takes you right back here it doesn't minimize it so you have that option to you know add another one within that within that list it doesn't reset it so this is actually a lot more nicer and again uh, i believe it's because i'm on version 302 303 it's saying i believe if i removed it i could get that 302 and it may allow you to scrub and show preview where this one doesn't show the preview for me uh, which is kind of weird because I do recall it actually showed the preview before and maybe it's because it was on here but anyhow I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, I hate using this essential graphics window I like using this and I've been using this for uh, quite some time now and I figured I would just make a video because I know a lot of people uh, you know, are you getting pissed with the way Adobe is updating and removing stuff within these programs because I do check the forms and stuff like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All the links will be below. If you guys need help, you can comment below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Happy editing. Peace out. Made it to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget, on the left is a video in May Lake, and on the right, you can check out my last video again. Thank you for checking out the video. It means a lot. See you on my next one. Peace.